September 4th, 2014. I'd like to call the select board meeting to order. Welcome everybody here, BCTV and folks. Uh, the first order of business is to uh, approve the minutes of August 22nd, 2014 emergency meeting. I have a motion to that effect. So moved. Seconded. The motion has been made and seconded to approve the minutes of August 22nd, 2014. Are there any Additional comments. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Uh, aye. aye. Those opposed are abstaining. I forgot to mention Gary Katz won't be here for this meeting or the next meeting. He's away on vacation. The next order would be the August 28th emergency meeting. I move to accept the August 28th emergency meeting minutes. Second. Motion's been made and seconded to approve the August 28th. Emergency meeting. Uh, is there any comments, further comments, or correction or anything on that? Hearing none, I'm going to abstain because I wasn't here. But hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Anybody opposed or abstaining? No, let's have it. No, I'm, one abstention, yeah. I'm just curious, Todd, why don't we have August 21st? Minutes? Because Mike and I weren't here. So you don't have a quorum to have a quorum to be able to approve them. To be able to approve them. Just, they just never got stuck on them. Yeah, yeah, well it was on there. I said to Shannon, you better table it until Gary gets back. Okay. Uh, next order of business, the road form is road commissioner's report. Uh, the roads are in pretty good shape. We're not grading them. We're also putting in culverts and we've been cutting some dead trees. We've cut four pretty good sized trees over in the river road. And Kevin Schrader came down and cut three big trees in Beetlestone Hill Cemetery. One of them, he's lucky that they didn't go over. As soon as he started the Nazi, that went over. Um, we also limited a big oak tree in Baker Brook. As far as the equipment goes, our favorite 06 Sterling's been the Patriot truck service for admission problems. It was there for about a week and a half. You just said 06. You mean 09. Uh, 09, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> the 06 Sterling is at uh, Tenko having the dump body repaired. The old F600 truck that we have for using it for chloride went to Twin State and had both manifolds replaced as they were leaking. Uh, we had to replace the rear tire on the back though. It had a slice in the side of it. Hickey Road Bridge. Shannon got a hold of Todd Benice finally and we got a uh, permit to go ahead. It's an emergency water something or other permit. Anyways, it gives you permission to go in Brooks um, to go ahead with some abutment work and rip work there. I met with Record Concrete and they're going to be doing some abutment work there. Um, they think they can bore down through the uh, footing of the bridge. And if it's if there's voids underneath it, he's going to fill it full of cement. That saves us from digging it all back up again. And once that is done, um, we'll have to get a contractor to put some riprap around the abutments themselves. That's going to be phase one of the project. Phase two of the project, of which the selectmen are aware of, is trying to riprap that river upstream and downstream of that bridge. B Trans is still looking at that. Uh, their concern is that below the bridge, every time we rip wrap that, it just, when there's high water, it just gets pushed down into the Rock River. So they're trying to come up with like you know, little cement dams that they're going to put in there all the way across to try to hold the rip wrap. But we, that'd be phase two. But Mark Pickering is going to do a, a structures grant for that bridge and hold it open until phase two is done. The roadside mowing has begun. He should be done in a couple of weeks, maybe a little bit less. So far, what I've seen looks pretty good. Paving, I met with Basin Brothers. Remember, we talked to he was over budget or over our budget, so I went over it all with him. And after we cut it back here and there a little bit, uh, we got the figures hmm. back into the budget, so it should come out pretty good. Um, I do have a call to V Trans for the town office. I called Mark Pickering and he said if we change the access to the parking lot, we have to get an access permit from. Montpelier, he can't issue it. So I have a call to that gentleman, and he didn't call me back yet. But once I hear back from him, then we go from there. Um, hopefully, hear back right off because Basin Brothers wants to start pay paving by the end of September, mm -hmm. and Vermont Roadworks is planning on paving this out here by the end of September as well. So, 
As far as salt goes, uh, I called Barrett Trucking, who we got our salt from. They sent over the contract today. Shannon signed it. And the price is seventy-eight sixty-five per ton this year. Last year it was like fifty-five or something like that. So it's gone up. They, there was a big article about it yesterday in the Reformer that it's gone up approximately thirty percent. And we did get a, a fire line grant quite a while ago for the town garage, um, and we haven't done anything with that. So I'm going to try to get that done fairly soon. There should be money in the budget now that it's gone into the new budget to get that done. So. But that is all I have for that. Anybody have any questions, concerns, or? I move to accept the road permits. Second. Motion has been made to approve the road form and road commission's report. Any discussion? I was wondering if we, you mentioned it, including information on Archbridge, the draft of the letter. Yep. So I, Gave everybody a copy. There is a really light, light, light like watermark. <coughs> it says draft. Yep. Uh, Actually, we could bring it up to to the public and let them know what we, that we did meet. Was it last? Uh, yes. Last week. August yeah. 27. We met with uh, V Trans, a gentleman called uh, Mr. Christopher Williams, but not the Christopher Williams everybody here knows, <laughs> um, to go over V Trans's plans for the bridge and there was a couple of members of the public that were here as well. <coughs> we hashed it all over pretty well. I think we're all on the same page with this thing that V Trans would like to see that stay as a one lane bridge. They'd also like to see it stay as an arch bridge. If it can can be rehabilitated, they would like to do that. However, it doesn't sound like that's gonna be possible. The only one good thing about it is if it's not possible, um, or if it is possible either way, um, historic preservation money kicks in and they may be able to build that bridge at no cost to the town if we can get it built under historic preservation. Otherwise, it's going to be 10% percent and may get knocked to five. Once we said, yes, we will take care of the detour, right. it would be knocked to five. Mm -hmm. And we don't have any guesstimate. Some of the concerns were, as you're coming from Depot to Grimes Hill, Dover Road intersection was the uh, turning radius going on and off that bridge. Trucks have an awful time with it. Our, our plow trucks have an awful time with it. Mm -hmm. So we discussed that with him. We also discussed a uh, water issue on that bridge because a lot of the water comes off some Sunset Lake Road and there's also a pretty good little hill that comes down from the old town garage onto the bridge. And a lot of times water sits there. In the winter time when you get snow and ice built up, it stays there. It makes kind of a lake across that bridge. So he, he took quite a few notes. Mm -hmm. I think the our discussion was pretty good with him. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, I think we're all on the same page with this thing so far, anyways. And I think the other concern was the the railings to make sure because right. they were substandard. Substandard and the concern with your plowing it. Right. right. Try and be able to get the snow off the bridge, not have it so high that it makes it worse than it is. So there's what they call a tiny rail, which is the same railing that's on the South Newfane store bridge that we just did. They could put that on that bridge too, so that might help us get rid of some of the snow. Um, but in the conclusion of this, he asked us to get the select board's thoughts and get it written on paper. And Glory's got a draft letter there to them, which is basically just outlining what we just outlined. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have any problem with it, except that maybe we should just let Shannon shorten it up just a little bit. Absolutely. If that's all right with the board, you guys want to do that or? I do. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, I thought it, I thought all the points that we talked about They're were there. I thought it was good. So. Yeah. Um, just a point of information is that Shannon won't be here for all next week, mm -hmm. so if she could get it out, or let me, and I could work with you on okay. just shortening a little bit of it. But I think it ne needs to go ASAP. I the agree. Other, the other thing in terms of letting the public know is that he's really pushed what might have been something going out to five to seven years. He's, he's pushed this first process through nicely, and it has been pretty much the historic division says it, it needs to be replaced as what it is. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so, we've been pushing the legislature with letters and stuff too, and it's helped quite a bit. So if members of the public want to write letters to your legislators, oh, 
to try to push that bridge along even more, that would be good. He, he suggested that too. That it's not in good shape. It's listed as poor. They've gone from two-year inspection down to one-year inspection, which I think soon will be a six-month inspection. It's gotten, he said, they said it's still safe to go across, but it's getting there. So is there anybody from the public who wanted to comment or anything on that thing? Since we don't have legislators by name right now, uh, like the rep and one senator, how do we address the letter? A, a general, do you legislator? Probably, mm -hmm. I would guess. And the other question I have is, whatever happened to your signs that people so generously threw back in the river? They, they were, we picked those up, they were all destroyed, so we put up two new ones. Those have been staying there, seem to be. Oh, okay. They don't look at them, but they're there. <laughs> they cover as less liability-wise. So. Mm -hmm. Anything else in that? You know, it's just a uh, personal experience. I was riding with somebody who's not as familiar as I am with that bridge, and um, the yield to traffic, and I know we've gone back and forth and put up 50 different signs, <laughs> but that yield to the bridge traffic went right by him, and the car coming as you can follow. <laughs> And then mm -hmm. that car turned and two others were going, he said, yes, no. <laughs> so he, he, he basically said it is not, it doesn't catch anybody's <clears throat> attention. Yeah. I went over that with a guy from Beach Ranch when we went up and looked at Dover Road. He said it was side the way it should be. Yeah, but it's just... It's just that people aren't paying attention to what they're Well, doing. you know, you, you see a little yellow sign. You know. <clears throat> Anything else? So let's, are we going to, since Shannon will be here all week next week, do you want... She'll be here in a little while. Okay. We'll we have her, her and let her... If she can't do it tomorrow or something like that, then we'll let you guys do it. We'll work on it. I just that. think that we should get it out. Yeah, I think we said to them we'd get it back, we'd get it out ASAP. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the only other thing we should do in the road, road business that I wrote in here, because I forgot, was sand bits need to go out. So I'll have to remind Shannon when I get she gets here to get those out. Yeah. Next order of business is the administrative assistance report. You want to read that? Got it. So Shannon's report says special audit required due to the amount of federal grant money spent by the town during the last fiscal year, we will be required to conduct a special audit. I've just signed a form stating that we need one and will await further instructions and keep the board apprised. Website, Bauman. Madavi and I have been working together to get the website ready to put agendas and minutes of all committees up. I may require the board to assist me in getting all committees compliant with the new law. We have a year to comply, but it would be good if the town will be keeping the website to get everyone used to doing this. Mm -hmm. Absence. I will be out of the office the week of September 8th, returning Monday, September 15th. I don't think there is anything too major going on that week, but can be reached via email if needed. Um, yeah, can I just mm -hmm. back up? We didn't accept the road form in this report. Right. Any other comments on the road form? The road commission report? Oh, okay. All those in favor of approving the road form road commission report say aye. 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 Opposed or abstaining, I'll abstain. So it's 3-1. Uh, we don't vote on the administrative assistance report. Right. Uh, schedule members of the public. Any guy in from Wyndham County Humane Society contract? I got it right. We did. It's a good thing I asked first, but I got it right. <laughs> we have the contract right here. Is that everybody? Look at this. I haven't looked at it. Yes. Yeah, weeks ago. It was. It was weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I understand you had some questions. <sighs> Go ahead and ask them. <laughs> exactly. We did. Yeah, we did. Well, I don't know if you know, but the board was the animal control officer, and hopefully, know. in a little bit, we might be making a change. Yes. So, um, I think I actually had a question that I was confused about. Every single time an animal go comes down there, mm -hmm. is there? Uh, how does the fee schedule work? Is what I'm. Well, really the beauty curious. of this is that I've gotten rid of the fee schedule. Okay. And I'm charging you a flat fee. 
Okay. So you can bring me as many stray cats and dogs as you like. Okay. Within that the was parameters the of the contract. That's okay. the major difference. Yeah. Which so this is a bargain. Yeah. I, I kinda of thought there was something changed when I'm going, which is that right? It's a really good um, deal for the town. It eliminates a lot of paperwork on my end. Okay. But I also I know everybody's budgets are tight and I don't want you having to decide each time can we pay for this animal or not? So this encourages your ACO to not worry about whether it's in the budget. Okay. The animal comes to us, we're going to do the best job by the animal. Okay. How do we think. tell, say somebody brings one into you, says it's from the town of Newfane, how do we know that that's, that it is from the town of Newfane? In the contract, we're requesting that they um, show us proof of residency. Um, and I think I had one other thing in there about that. Um, can we prove it? No. Does it matter? I don't think so. The rare person that's going to lie and say it's from the town of Newfane is not going right. to impact you anymore anyway because right. it's a flat fee. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so really it's a service to your residents to know their stray animals going to end up at a place that's going to do the right thing by them veterinary, veterinary wise. And, uh, we're going to advertise right away we're the place that people look. Yeah. We have a scanner. We can look for a chip. We can do all the right things to get animals back home. <clears throat> okay. Because it seemed that yeah, that was an addition of the somebody needing to say, well, I'm really from Newfane, but I picked up a dog that belonged in Marlboro and returned it. Yeah. So had we not found a neighbor who knew where the dog belonged in Marlboro, yeah. I would have brought it down to the Humane Society. Right. Physically, the dog was in Newfane. Right. Is that, or does it have to be a Newfane animal with me bringing it in? Like I picked a dog up this morning that didn't have a collar. Yeah. I mean, we're alone. Yes. But, um, well, I think that for me, the goal is to make residents feel like their animals are going to get home if possible. So, mm -hmm. You guys have to figure out how you want to draw the line. If you pick up a dog and it's got a license, you know who it belongs. I would encourage you to just take the dog right home and then people feel like, okay, the town is not trying to just find me. Yeah, so, um, you know, we our, first, our mission is to put the love for the animals first. So whatever needs to happen for the animal, that's what comes first. Um, and then in terms of impoundment fees, so if you... The way I view the impoundment fee, that is supposed to cover the cost of whatever animal patrol officer put the dog in his car and drove us, drove down and got the dog to safety. So hmm. if you pick up a Marlboro dog, but you're the one that delivers it to us, you're going to get the impound fee. You mm -hmm. did the work of getting the dog to safety. Oh, okay. And that so now yeah, clarifies that. that. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. okay. I, I appreciate you coming to the meeting. And and help us out. I have read the contract, mm -hmm. yeah. and I make a motion that we approve the uh, this this contract with the Humane Society to have you help us. Great. Second motion. The motion has been made by second by Gloria to approve the Lundu County Humane Society's contract for the town of New Bain. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed or abstaining? I guess we need to sign. If you sign it, I'll take it. Just I can sign it too, and then Shannon can make a copy. Right? It'll be good. Shannon, is this the original with all the darkened? Yeah. It is. That's the one I can. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'd, I had highlighted the changes I made in the contract, so that's what. Yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. It's fine if you sign that. I don't think it's a problem. Okay. The only one you're the chair, so I know it. <laughs> Just just your signature and then we'll have Shannon right in the up there. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Members of the public, the uh, town record ad hoc committee, but 
are you did you want to do something tonight or um, I apologize I'm just learning how everything goes I should have let somebody know that we were not going to be ready tonight we will be ready in two weeks absolutely but we're just not quite ready yep. that's fine. okay Appreciate uh, we all your pushed work. as hard as we could but um <laughs> We want to do it absolutely right. Yep, good. So, thanks. It's been very educational. That's a good thing. <laughs> Are there any unscheduled members of the public? Did you want to talk about the town office? I know Dennis sent out a thing about painting the front of it, or not that far yet. We haven't. We haven't done anything on that. I. I think it's repair. The select board is in charge of repair, but Dennis wants to do one thing. Mike seems to want to do another thing, and we haven't warned anything. So, okay, so you're not ready. We're not ready. Okay. And unfortunately, no matter how many members meet, it's always an official meeting. It's only three of us. Yeah. There's never not a quorum. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Any other unscheduled members of the public? New business, animal control officer appointment discussion. Uh, Chris and I met with our one candidate who showed up, and she has an impressive background, uh, works for the Humane Society as their feline expert or whatever it is. She's interested in becoming an animal control officer. She's right now going to take tomorrow her second course in animal abuse where she's learning about judicial fines, etc. Mm -hmm. And uh, totally recommend that we have Jasmine, I don't know, Burgess, Burgess, Burgess as thanks. our animal control officer. And she's been notified that this is quite possible, and she'll be willing to come in and sign the appointment letter that um, Shannon might just keep here and give to me for Monday, and mm -hmm. she'll probably be on the ground running. Yeah. She knows she doesn't have much of a budget. Correct. She yeah. doesn't that. She was, she was okay with that. Yeah. Um, I did have a uh, need for an animal control officer today. We had a skunk caught in the have a heart track and Ooh. they went to the sheriff and then the sheriff said to call me and I called her to say just in case you wanted to anyway people let it go and it didn't spray them but I make a motion <laughs> that we appoint Jasmine Burgess as our new animal control officer for the town. Second it. Motion has been made second it to appoint Jasmine Burgess Burgess is the and a new phase animal control officer. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Anybody opposed or abstaining? That is good news. We've been looking for one for a long time and hopefully it works out well for her and, and it, us. And just a compliment to the, I don't know if it was Mike who wrote the article, whatever, but yes. things came from the reformer in terms of a response. So. Thank you, Mike. Now we're supposed to recess at 7.30. Are, are the people coming or can we recess now? For the... You can do it whenever. All right. We're going to recess the regular select board meeting and go into uh, liquor control. Yeah, every, every year we get a <coughs> permit request for just a special event. And quite often the town clerk just uh, signs this and I think if the select board chose, it's the Putney Mountain Winery, LLP, who always set up a booth at the Harvest um, Heritage Festival. And they gave where it's located, the dates, and are just asking, they've got the money for the Department of Liquid Control, and they just want a signature. Yeah. So I recommend that. I mean, I move that. You allow the town clerk to sign it. Second. <laughs> Motion's been made seconded to have Gloria the town clerk <coughs> sign the uh, liquor control permit for, was it Putney Mountain, Mountain Winery? Mountain. Mountain. Is there any other discussion? This is for Heritage Festival weekend. Right. Mm -hmm. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, anybody opposed or fain? That was quick. 
need to come out of the board of liquor control. Second. <laughs> coming out. Did you second it? I did. Motions are made and seconded to come out of the uh, board of liquor control and go back into the regular select board meeting. And we didn't get any of the line. <laughs> Old business. Lynch Road discontinuing. Do you need to reconvene that? Yeah, we were right on the next meeting. I think we did, didn't I? No, we're not a, we're yeah, in case I said we were coming out of it and going back to the oh, stuff we're doing. Oh, well, we're just, reconvening anyway, so. Um, Lynch Road discontinuing follow up and discussion. Shannon has made a recommendation um, that the board use Rich Carroll as an attorney to help us with the process. And I'd like, like to make a motion um, that we do so, that we. Um, Ask Rich Carroll to um, be retained for the purpose of helping us with lunch for discontinuance. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to for the town of Fane to hire Rich Carroll to help us with the Lynch Road discontinuation. Um, is there any other discussion? Do we do we have to put a certain amount down as a retainer? <coughs> I don't know. Would you be able to check on that so we would know if we have to include up to a certain amount? Yeah. I think we have sufficient budget for that. Um, yeah, I think there would be an issue with that. Really. Okay. I mean, I don't know that he's even available. I just gave you the name of somebody. But okay. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Anybody opposed or abstaining? Four no. Unlicensed dogs, follow up. Okay. Good response uh, to the letter. We have now only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dogs left. Um, I know that. Three of the dogs um, will be, their rabies will be done on, uh, given on Saturday. A person will bring in that paperwork and so that will take care of one of them. I think that one dog is 18 years old and is possibly deceased if the person hasn't. So that just brings us down to one, two, three, four owners. And when when Jasmine gets moving, will you turn this over to her to have her begin the next process? Okay. So I think that's great. Yeah. I mean, yeah. People came in with four or six dogs here and wonderful. And it was they were impressed by the letter. Meaning it took that really. Right. <coughs> anything else? Unlicensed dogs. The next item is zone bylaw next steps discussion. Shannon, yeah, um, we may need to defer that a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I move that we table that at least until I think it will be October, the first meeting in October. Mm -hmm. Okay. I second that motion. All right, motion has been made, second to postpone or table the zoning bylaw. Uh, discussion until the first meeting in October. Is there any other discussion on that? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed or abstaining? 4 0. Nice to have it. Uh, Shannon, before we go any farther, this letter that Gloria was working on, mm -hmm. that's something you can work on tomorrow? Sure. Get it narrowed down a little bit. Tighten it up a little. Sure. Work with Gloria on it or something? You won't be in next week. Well, I won't be able to work with Gloria on it until the 15th, but I can work on it and leave it on her desk. Well, I want you, if you want to just get everything kind of this way with it, then leave it on her desk and we can get it probably out Monday or something. Yeah. That would be good. Thank you. Um, did I email you? Oh, yeah. I think so. So, yeah. Yeah. I'll that would be easiest. Any other thing you brought up when you weren't here was getting sand bits out? some point. Yep. Unfinished business, review of policies, no update. 
Yeah, and I'd like to add two policies is that the one that we started two years ago is the, um, the financial policy. Is that what I want? Um, we went over it and got going on it, and that's the one that's always referred to in our audit. And somewhere that's got to take priority, and it would be good to do that. I think it would, and I think um, when the auditors come in, we're going to refresh on. Uh, I think they've looked it over already. Um, I just don't think we had that. It was a little bit overkill. I think we went with the VLCT policy, and it was just way too much. And it, you know, and it's to get it into place so that yes, when the treasurer's gone, there should be. I mean, what they're always saying in terms of checks and balances is when the treasurer's gone, somebody should be able to do that job and pretty much be here. When the town clerk's gone, somebody should. So that's where a lot of our um, questionable activities have surfaced through the years. I don't think each one of your offices, though, have your own policy and procedures. No, but that's that becomes part of the audit. Oh, I, yeah. Right, so it's different. This this really is the overall financial exactly. policies. Yeah. yeah. If you had your own town clerk policies and procedures manual, and then she has her. Yeah, and I do. Uh, I don't know if Maureen does um, on her end. But I'm thinking that this, this comes up year after year after year with our. Right. Um, I, I do. I mean, I think we, we need to look at um, the personnel policy that we keep. Oh, I, I understand. But in. This, this is another one to look at, yeah. Uh, and maybe, with the exception of those few the wording for drug testing, et cetera, et cetera, I think this, my personal opinion is it should be the highest priority. Can we put that on the agenda for the first meeting in October? Maybe, yeah. Start just, working on it. Just start. Yeah. You're going to be back then. I would recommend finishing your other two. Yes. In the so maybe the second. Right. Starting another round. I, that yeah. should come right before budget, too, shouldn't it? As yeah. we're kind of working on all the financials. So we can do it the last meeting in right. October. Right. Yeah. Anything else? I know I'm almost done here. I know you're heartbroken, but what correspondence? I was, I was actually trying to push it and see if we could get <coughs> working. We're Keep going, good. <laughs> I gave Chris the correspondence. There's okay. some stuff from the LCT there that people can read if they want to go to the public right. Yeah, we've got municipal workshops and another draft municipal policy that we need to review, and I'm sure we can look at all of those. Um, is anybody, just speaking of that um, workshop on the budget, September 30th, is anybody going to that? It's municipal budget in Montpelier. I haven't had a chance to even look at it, so I don't, I don't, I can't answer the question for me yet. I don't know. But I will, I'll take some of the information. Are you, are you getting those in the mail? To your personal address? Um, no. You know, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. I think it's kind of random. Okay. Just, yeah. So, uh, as part of the correspondence from Maureen, we need to sign the capital equipment refunding note um, for the 2013 MAC. And I think we've already discussed and approved that, so that's just something for signature. And then under correspondence, we've had uh, two letters from Mr. Henry Pinkney. I can read these. They're sent to the administrative assistant. Giving second thoughts to my story. If the town can get possession of the railroad station, get the owners of the country store to open a Cracker Barrel store, something right into oh, its location, yeah. fits right into its location, let the town give them tax credit for one for 10 years. The town's in, town and owner could possibly get money from the VY funds to be dispersed for Wyndham County new business. Also go the approach to um, transportation department or tourism department to make the beginning of the Route 30 byway like the Route 100 byway. What a setup, this new Cracker Barrel store plus the railroad station all in one location, now to find more parking. So these are some of my thoughts, essentially, and he signs it. And he attaches an article um, on the Wilmington 
in the, in the reformer, I don't know what the date of it is, but it was Wilmington bustling with activity under our opinion. On August 22nd, Mr. Pinkney also wrote another suggestion. It's about time Newfane has walking tour booklets. Um, I'll get possession of the old railroad station beforehand. What does that say? <laughs> I'll get, but get possession of the old railroad station beforehand. Does Newfane have a historical website? Um, actually, that's interesting. We, we have a historical society sitting here, which is... And we do have a walking quite tour a, of the village of Newfane. Right. But, um, yeah. So, there's some of the correspondence and public input. And that is all I think we have, Todd. Is he aware that there's a theoretical uh, arrangement between the historical society and the owner of the... I don't think so, uh, Gunther. I think we've mentioned it about three times on BCTV as we're doing these meetings, but um, there is. There's actually something going on between the Historical Society and the railroad station. So. Um, I think they just write him a letter letting him know that. Oh, that's great. Okay. Well, we'll put it in the permanent archives of the town of Ukraine. There you go. Okay. Any other correspondence? No other correspondence. We are down to pay orders. Wow. Gee, I need to get home in time for the <laughs>